I'm uh, biohacker health coach Joe Baines and I am in the cemetery. I am um, and I thought this would be a fitting place to do a video on junk food, on processed foods. Uh, I, I grew up on, on junk food. I grew up on processed food. Um, I, my life was miserable. Like I was eating four or five meals a day. Uh, I was addicted to which I didn't have to realize at the time because, you know, how do you realize that you're addicted to junk food? I was addicted to bread, I was addicted to pizza, fish and chips, kebabs, uh, crisps, peanuts, you name it. <laughs> Biscuits, you name it. I was addicted to all of them. Well, I thought they were food and I was eating them. And my health was right down. I had a belly. Uh, so I used to wear loose clothing. Uh, I used to buy shirts that were a couple of sizes too big and trousers uh, so that it wouldn't show. <laughs> and, and I remember my mood swings were going up and down like a yo-yo. I was always depressed. I hated working out because I didn't, you know, my body wasn't healthy. I didn't, so I didn't enjoy working out at all. I, I hated going to the gym. Uh, I used to hate running. I, I love running now, but I used to hate running. I would always be uh, miserable in my head. My thoughts, anxiety, always used to be really high. Um, and I, and then when I started cutting out all the crap, uh, when I started cutting out junk foods, McDonald's, KFC. I grew up on McDonald's. I used to work at McDonald's for five years. Uh, so for five years of my life, you know, McDonald's was food. <laughs> So, yeah, so you don't want to do that. Um, so, and then once I started cutting all this out, I suddenly started to, um, my brain started to wake up. And then eventually I, uh, I went keto. Um, keto wasn't a straightforward journey for me. It took me a while to get into keto because I didn't even know it was called keto. All I was trying to do was cut out the junk, cut out the processed foods, all that kind of stuff. And the more I read and the more I studied this, health and nutrition and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the more the more it was cut out carbs, cut out carbs, cut out carbs, cut out carbs, cut out sugar, cut out sugar, cut out sugar, cut out vegetables, cut out vegetables, you know. Uh, and the more I cut these out, the better my health got. Do you know, like until eventually, when I completely cut all this out, it was like becoming a born again Christian. Do you know, like one of these Jehovah's Witnesses, it was like I'd just been given a new lease of life. It's just I, I've been given a new lease, a new body. Do you know, like um, I used to have brain fog. I used to suffer massively from brain fog. I used to take all kinds of supplements um, to counteract, counteract the, uh, the effects of brain fog. I used to take modafinil, which uh, for years I took that, which basically, you know, turbocharges your brain. I needed all these kinds of supplements. I used to take Brahmi. Bicoba's Bilaba, you know, like all of it, coffee, you name it, everything to try to um, um, to keep getting my brain to work, do you know, because it, it just didn't want to work. And I remember, you know, I'd, be, I'd have brain fog and I'd be, my brain would be too slow. Um, I'd be, after lunchtime, you know, I'd fall asleep, all kinds of stuff, things would go wrong. And once I started cutting out carbs, once I started cutting out sugars, and I started going more down the low carb route, keto route. I, I slowly found I didn't need to take any of these supplements anymore. I didn't Brahmi or Bilaba, 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 any of these things or coffee or any of this. Um, I didn't need these to wake my brain up. I didn't need to jolt my brain into, into existence anymore because I wasn't eating junk food. I wasn't eating crap food. I was only eating good quality food. I was more keto, more low carb that kind of stuff. And I found all of this, these things to prop me up, coffee, caffeine, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, once I cut out bread as well, um, not, none of the, those things stopped having an effect because I'd always feel awake. I'd always feel energized. My brain fog disappeared. Can you believe it? Like for most of my life, I've suffered from brain fog, my brain being too slow. And after I cut out all the junk food, um, my body, now it loves exercise. I probably do about uh, two, 200 press-ups a day, 200 squats a day or something like that. I do them all the time. You know, like I'll...
I'll have periods. I'll do some uh, press-ups. I'll do 20 press-ups at a time, you know, 20 squ um, squats and things like that. And yeah, uh, I do it throughout the whole day. So when you add it all up, it's a couple of hundred. And I'll go for a run. I've got my bicycle here. I'm cycling around outside. And it's all because I cut out the junk. Now, people say to me, oh, I can't cut out. Um, oh, I can't live without my bread. Oh, I can't live without my, um, my cereal. I can't live without my porridge. That's, the, that, that's exactly the, what um, I would expect uh, a cocaine addict to say. Oh, I can't live without cocaine. You know, like this makes you sound like a, an addict. Uh, and, that's, and that, you are basically um, a pawn now for the processed food industry. Because the processed food industry makes all these things as addictive as possible. And so now you are addicted to this stuff. And because that's where the money is. The money is in addicts. The money isn't in, in, um, in, in giving you food. Because food, you don't need much. You don't need much food. The reason you eat so much junk food, the reason you need so much junk food, um, you don't actually need it. It's because one, because of cravings and addictions, and two, because there's no nutrition in them. And so once your body's digested and eaten it, it it's like, well, empty calories. There's nothing in there. I need, I need real food. And so then you have to feed it real food. <laughs> Enjoy it.